If you can't turn off your brain when you're trying to sleep, try some calcium. It's great for kids, any age, teenagers. Uh, in fact, I use calcium a lot with my kids. Uh, great for fevers and no matter what they come down with as far as an infection, calcium just seems to work like a charm. Uh, for kids, you just give them 50 milligrams. I, I recommend calcium lactate. It's a non-dairy, great calcium, good uh, absorption. It's, you give it to them right before, before they go to bed. But if you're deficient in calcium, you're not going to be able to sleep as well. It can also create muscle cramps that can keep you up at night. But the biggest thing, it can actually create a racing mind where you just can't turn it off. But also, if you're deficient in B1, that can also create the uh, same symptom. But calcium is needed to allow you to get into REM sleep. It's also needed to make melatonin. And so if you have any of these symptoms, including a racing mind as you're trying to go to sleep, uh, one thing you might want to try is some calcium lactate. I would recommend about 100 milligrams right before bed. And I think you'll notice a nice change. Now, that being said, I want to mention something about calcium because I don't really recommend taking a lot of calcium for a long period of time, simply because calcium tends to accumulate in the body. It doesn't, you don't get rid of it as easily as other nutrients like uh, magnesium or actually potassium. So there's certain nutrients that, that are, your body has a difficult time getting rid of. Calcium, iron are two big ones. And so because calcium doesn't get eliminated very easily, and as we get older, a lot of people have calcium buildup in their joints and their arteries, on their eye, in their kidneys, and all over the place. And so unless you have a need for calcium, I probably would not recommend it as a supplement, especially if you're taking like 1,000 milligrams of calcium carbonate every day to because you're postmenopausal, I don't recommend that because it increases your risk of heart attacks. But for the most part, try to get your calcium from food unless you have certain symptoms that you need to take some extra. If you haven't seen some of my other videos on calcium, I put them up right here. Check them out.